I will show you how to solve the problem with Node-RED because it doesn't remember the credential for MQTT broker. I'm talking about login and password and I will show you where the problem is located and how to solve. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying the content so far. I've noticed something interesting in our channel statistics. Over 90% of you watching aren't subscribed yet. Now, I understand subscribing to a channel is a choice and I respect that. But let me share a few reasons why hitting that subscribe button can be a great decision for you. Firstly, it's completely free. You get notified about new content, ensuring you don't miss out on the latest videos that could be really useful or entertaining for you. It's like getting updates on what you enjoy without any effort. Secondly, your subscription supports the channel immensely. It helps me understand what content you like and it motivates me to keep creating and improving. Plus, with a larger subscriber base, I can bring in more resources and perhaps even some collaborations that you would love. And lastly, being a part of our community means you're not just a viewer, you're a valuable member who can shape the future of this channel. Your comments, likes, and feedback guide me in creating content that resonates with you. So, if you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community. It's just one click, but it makes a huge difference. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you as a part of our subscriber family. So, in this Home Assistant instance, if I will go to settings and then to add-ons and then to my Node-RED instance here and I will click locked up, here if I will scroll down I can see the warn error loading credential, syntax error, unexpected token in JSON at position zero and error failed to decrypt credentials. So the problem is this one, I will show you. and. What is going on? Well, you can see the warning, credentials could not be decrypted. And because of this simple fact, if you will edit the connection to the MQTT broker and go here to the security section, to the security tab, there is no username and password. Of course, you can put it here and type the update and do the job. So, but this is not a solution, this is a, a uh, temporary solution and I will show you. So I will put my MQTT user and the password to the user and I will hit update and then uh, done and then deploy. And it's deployed, it's working, so those two flows are working correctly and you can see it's connected. And if you will go back to settings for a moment and go back to Node-RED, you will see that it is working. But what if you will try to restart Home Assistant or at least this add-on? Well, the situation will repeat and you will receive exactly the same error and I will show it. So go to settings add-ons, for example, and now I will initialize the restart process. So I hit restart and I will go to log and I will try to refresh it one more time. And I will try to check, do I have this warn here and yes exactly i have the same warning here two lines so yeah i will go to node-red and you will see that the problem exists and there is a problem with node-red at all and it didn't solve the problem so this is not a solution by just typing one more time uh, the credentials for mqtt broker and how to solve it permanently so well yeah you can just edit the connection just because why not and i will do this but there is something else that you need to do and i will show you exactly how to do it so first of all i will save my configuration for the mqtt broker but this time i will not restart the node red yet but instead I will go to terminal how to install the terminal that you can see on my sidebar well you have to go to settings then to add-ons and uh, i have a terminal and ssh so you have to click add-on store and look for uh, the terminal here and install this one and just install and start it and select all those first start and boot watch duck auto update and show in sidebar and now if you will click this icon on the sidebar you should be able to see this part and I already uh, I'm in this part uh, slash add-on uh, configs 
uh, node red. So what you can do and how you can find any node red directory? Well, it's quite easy. Just find something like this and name and then just star node red something like this and then star and quotation and it will show you the location of your node red instance so then you of course need to cd and other um, underscore configs and then of course the a0 something node red and you are in this directory and if i will list it you can see a lot of files and what you need to do well there is a one file config runtime json and i will try to show you this file so cut the config runtime json and it contains a credential secret and well the best option is to get rid of this file totally or eventually if you don't want to you can change the name of this file so what we can do we can just get rid of this and we can move it to the config runtime uh json back or in but well yeah this is the best option and back eventually you can get rid of this dot in the beginning but or you can add something like blah why not and underscore something like this and this is the solution and now go back to settings add-ons go to node red stop it just like that go to the configuration get rid of this then save change and now you need to switch the show and use optional configuration options and now one more time you need to provide your node red credential secret that you generated previously so go back and scroll up and put this credential here and just save it and well if now we can go back to the terminal and check do we have this file back i mean is it created so list the content of the directory and what about this and we have something like config runtime json but there is no config runtime in this it it, it didn't create it yet probably it is creating it during the start so go to add-ons and just start the node red and we will see what is going on so we will go to log and we will try to refresh from time to time and check do we have this warn and we have only one warn project disabled and editor dim and i will explain it by the way here in this configuration you have something like dim and you can choose the dim if you want to so we can even switch to dracula for example and save it and then restart the node red one more time and we will see did it work i mean do we have any warning here and okay debug info debug debug info project disabled okay the only one warning but is there any error here and we do not see any warn about secrets so go to node red this time wait for this it should start without any issue there should be no problem at all and you should see that it is working correctly and it is connected so you can even just be sure by clicking twice on this uh, flow and just um edit the connection and check the security tab <laughs> voila it remembers the you can even update it if you want to do and then deploy it it remembers the value and there's no problem at all and it is working now so this is the solution for you and if it will not work and you will see that your counter on your 
once it is zero zero one is not refreshing and you don't see the progress and you know that you have more subscribers than it is displaying on the screen then this is the solution this is the way you can achieve your goal and now the so-called injector i mean it the counter here this inject will work just because now we have all the time the, the connection to the MQTT broken and the uh, credentials are stored, saved, and there is no problem at all. And if you will go to settings, to be sure, and you will go to add-ons and to Node-RED and then to the configuration, you can see it skips the credential secret. So there is no problem at all and it is working like a charm. Lovely, so how I can check? Um, well. Um, you just need to go to your device and just um, check is it refreshed on the on the screen and just check do we have any um, members I mean is it changing the value properly so I will show you that it is changing values and just give me a moment and I will tell you how it looks like so yeah we have a this one and I put this one and well yeah this value changed uh, now I have a uh, 294 subscribers and here we go and 37,745 views nice so this is exactly the proof of this that this is working and previously in previous video I have much less subscribers and I then checked that someone subscribed uh, to my channel and I then check the number of new subscribers and like what is going on now it's not refreshing and this is the problem because of this problem uh, it was not refreshing every 10 minutes so that was my problem and I decided that I will try to look for the solution and I will show you how to make it work I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much have a nice day or night take care bye bye